Okay, one more. One more video really quick, I promise, and then the kitchen is hers again. I gotta make this, it's just so fitting. Uh, it wouldn't be right if I didn't make this, and it's so easy to make it so quick, and I'll make this really quick. In the last video, I showed you how to make breakfast cereal frosted flakes from Chia. Actually, that wasn't the last video. It was the one before that, before that, but one of the previous ones. Anyway, this one is the next logical version of that. Chocolate covered Chia wafers. I mean, it's just so easy to make. So I'm going to show you real quick again how to make Chia, uh, Chia anything. It's basically one part Chia to two parts water. In this case, I got one cup of Chia seeds and two cups of water. Uh, I suggest if you have kids, you would grab them and make this with them. It. Yeah, it's so easy to make. Even kids can make this. Well, it's fun for kids to include kids in, you know. Right. And so you let it sit for a few minutes and gel up, and then yeah. we're going to... It takes about five minutes till it gets kind of jelly. You stir good. You really know how to stir things up. <laughs> People are going to read into that. Oh, see, I, I, I knew there's a problem between them. He said things are getting stirred up. <laughs> he accuses her of stirring things up. Well, I do. I don't know, food wise. Okay, so it looks like it's getting a jelly. Yeah, it's actually getting there pretty quick. Yeah. Hasn't even been, what, three minutes yet? Not even. Not S even. Uh, are you going to um, put some sort of sweetener? Oh, yeah. If you want, you can put some kind of sweetener in here. There's no real set amount, just whatever you. Whatever your personal preference is. Yeah. This is the uh, zero calorie, all healthy, natural zero sweetener. Aftertaste. You can get it at marcussugar.com. Or you can use maple syrup. But I, we've, I've found that that, this actually gives it more of a frosted flakes. Oh, texture, yeah. Well, not texture, but like a powdered tough, sugar. Yeah. Like a sweeter powdered sugar kind of. Uh, wow, that's getting pretty jelly-like. Yeah. All right, we gotta hurry up here. Uh, what about sprinkling it on top of sugar? Well, it's just going to absorb in. I don't see why. This is going to be chocolate coated. Who cares? Oh, that's right. Oh, we can also do it like that. Yeah. Yeah, you can do it like that. But in this case, I want to have them really thin. Oh. Because I want to have it like, when I grew like up. potato chip. Yeah, when I grew up in Canada, we had these after dinner mints called after eight. I don't know if any of you know what that is. It's a British thing. They're really paper thin wafers, peppermint with with uh, chocolate covering on them. I think American version of that is chocolate covered potato chips. They have those? Chocolate covered potato chips. Wow. I mean, it seems similar to what you were talking about after eight. I'm so out of touch with the junk food. Anyway, so there you go. Here's just a really thin. Uh, I like it. You put this in the dehydrator for Overnight? No, it doesn't take that long. The whole thing takes like probably four or five hours. After a couple of hours when it gets hard on top, take it out of the dehydrator, flip it over, take the silicone sheet off so it can breathe from both sides. It gets hard, put it back in, let it go another. You know the routine. You know the routine. I sing you a song to make you happy. <laughs> All right, so now we got these, uh, the crackers. I already broke them up in little pieces here. You can be neater and make little squares or circles or whatever. All right, so let's put this to the side. Let's make some chocolate real quick. This is so easy. I know everybody wants exact amounts, but this is so easy that, and there's only three ingredients that if you can't do this by, uh, by winging it, then you shouldn't be in the kitchen because this is just so easy. Basically, you just want to have some cacao powder it's about four tablespoons. Oh, it doesn't even matter. You just do whatever you want. Then you add some kind of sweetener and you add some kind of oil. That's it. Now, how much sweetener you put in here is up to you. How much do you want? How sweet do you want it? That's your determination. I'm just going to put in, I don't know, maybe about that much maple syrup. Shall I go get the coconut oil? Oh yeah, get the coconut oil, right, I forgot. Now for those of you who are like anti-coconut oil, go sit in the corner and be quiet. We're not eating two pounds of coconut oil here. We're just having a couple little thin wafers of chocolate treat that is not gonna kill you. Ugh, people are getting so like uh, over, overly paranoid about anything. Everything's bad for you nowadays. Well, if it was, her and I would not be, we'd, we'd be dead. So we do as we leave it on the counter and as we walk by, we'll take a snack. Coconut oil becomes liquid 
uh, above 77 degrees or something like that. So basically, if you live in a warm part of the country, it's going to look like this anyway. For those I, of you that may not already yeah, know that. To make it liquid, just put it out in the sun and it becomes liquid. Keep adding it until you have a nice runny, a runny liquid. That's pretty runny. You can't really screw up. If it's too runny, just add more powder. Mm -hmm. If it's not sweet enough, add some more sweetener. It needs maple syrup. You think? I think Can it needs the it? bottle, yes. All right, some more sweetener. All right, there's some of that. So now you got your crackers and your chocolate, and all you gotta do is dunk the chocolate in the crackers. No, dunk the crackers in the chocolate, and then you put it in the freezer, and after 20 minutes, the chocolate get, yeah. And after 20 minutes, the chocolate gets hard and it's ready to go. No, no cooking, no baking. This is kind of like my freezer chocolate, but a lot simpler. And messy. What you don't want to do is have, like if I dunk this in the chocolate, put it down, take another piece, dunk the chocolate, put it down. They're going to they're gonna overlap and stick together and then you're going to get one hard clump. So you want to separate these things. So how are we going to do that? I'll show you how. How do you separate these things? Well, you go to the hardware store and you get some wire and you just pull the wire, dunk it in, in the chocolate. Oh, okay, you got those. Here, you see, put that in there like that. Coat it in chocolate. Me and my brothers and sisters would make brownies. Oh, fail every time. Just throw it in the garden so our parents didn't see. You threw the brownies in the garden? The brownie mix. Yes, we were heathens. <laughs> what? Why'd you throw it in the garden? Because we didn't want our mom to find out we made brownie mix. Mm, those look really good. Now, this is really quick and dirty. I, I, maybe you guys can figure out a better way to keep them separate so the chocolate doesn't stick together and get hard. Um, but I think this going, going to your local hardware store and buying coiled um, wire. Wire. It was a perfect idea. All right, so now we just stick this in the freezer for half an hour and the chocolate gets hard. Why does it get hard? Well, the oil becomes hard below la la. a certain temperature, so. So the oil is necessary in this recipe. Put this in the fridge, freezer. All right, so now we gotta wait half an hour. What shall we do for half an hour while we wait? I don't know, what can we do in half an hour? I can sing. I can sing you a song to make you feel good and put smiles on you. I got a better idea. <laughs> I can sing you for supper. I'll sing you a song. Ooh. Well, it's been half an hour. Okay, so let's get it. Mm. I mean, this is really messy, but... Well, down and dirty. Oh, it's, but... It's hard. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's gorgeous. You, you know, something I forgot to do hmm. was sprinkle salt crystals on it. Oh. I think that would be mm. really good to have like big chunky salt crystals on it. Look at that. Look how good that looks. It's it's a wafer mm. with... This is really Chocolate. good. Wow. Enjoy it. And it's really light and crunchy on the inside. Mm -hmm. Not heavy. I had to do this. I came up with this idea and I said, I gotta do this. It tastes just like... Like something you'd buy in a store. Yeah. What What are those... Chemicals. What are those ones that I like um, that come in a bag? Um, the sea salt. Um, oh. Bark. bark. Bark bark Thins. Mm -hmm. Bark Thins. Bark Thins, yeah. Oh yeah, this is some more Bark Thins. This is even healthier than that. I mean, oh yeah. So there you go. I mean, how easy is that? You make really simple chia crackers, light and fluffy. Nothing's lighter and fluffier than chia. It's a good fiber. Fiber is really good for you. Cho oh, chocolate's yeah. an antioxidant. Oh my gosh, as a mother of a child, well, he's a grown boy now, he's 31. Then he have to grow up. No. But wow. I swear, if I would have had known this recipe when he was a kid or a teenager, Gosh, I would have just made these all up. When he came home from school, I would have said, here you go, eat a healthy snack. This is so good. Because it's so good and it's so healthy. Yeah. Oh, it's like eating candy. It's like you're doing something bad, but you're not.
You got to kind of keep them in the fridge when you're not e in the freezer when you're not eating them. Oh, you can eat them in the fridge too. Fun. Yeah, you could just pop in the fridge and eat them in there. <laughs> well, see, another cool thing about coconut oil, because it, it stays liquid above 77 degrees, yeah. it cannot get hard inside your body and clog your arteries oh. because it stays liquid. Because it, it, other things, they, they harden inside you. Oh, like that, like bad oil. But yeah. Anyway, so there you go. There's my. I had to do this real quick. I had to show you this 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 idea of mine. Mm -hmm. And where are you going? I was going to get a plate. <laughs> These deserve a plate of their own. Okay, so yeah, let's put it on a plate. Plate it. I like the way the chocolate just starts melting in your mouth. I mean, look at that. Look at the mm. chocolate. <laughs> uh, don't throw that away. I'm not. I'm just putting it here. Anyway, so there you go. Yeah, so uh, you could add some salt crystals to that. I mean, add anything you want. You can add yellow raisins. Or whatever. But the idea for me was to have really thin, wafer-thin uh, thing. This is really messy. This is really quick and dirty. You can take your time and make it look really better. You said but that before. I did already. So let's, let's uh, end the video so we can eat this. Okay. All right, so we'll see you in the next video. Stay healthy. <laughs> so bye. Oh, it's so good. This is real chocolate. And it tastes like it's bad for you. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, I can't stop eating these. <laughs>